Good morning, folks. We've got a solar wind impact that Earth's magnetosphere is handling well. Big earthquake rocked the eastern Mediterranean. We've got a volcano, bad weather, and a swarm. Let's get to it over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. We see things are very calm except for some pops on the sides. Coronal hole directly facing Earth, and yesterday we saw the leading edge of its solar wind stream as the leading edge of the coronal hole itself passed Earth three days ago. Density shockwave hit first. Then the speed and plasma temperature begin to rise. While the stream is relatively strong, the magnetism was moderately disruptive only, and Earth's magnetic field took just brief periods of instability. But that electron storm alert we sent through the app two days ago, that is over now. It was ongoing until as much as a 100,000x decrease in fluence was detected as the proton-laden stream swept by our planet. This is the coronal hole. Its IMF and kinetic alpha waves have been a bane on the lithosphere as we'll continue to see momentarily. Let's quickly note the eruptive activity from the sunspot that has turned out of view. Now on the far side of the sun, it released a strong CME that will not hit Earth, but could electrically couple on Sunday for more big quakes. Not that we have to wait to discuss them now. A strong 6.7 earthquake struck shallow near the Turkey-Greece border in the Mediterranean Sea. It sent people running into the streets injured more than 200 people, killed at least two, and damaged hundreds of structures. Luckily, the tsunami fears that shot through the region did not manifest. We also had a volcano go off in Sumatra, that is Mount Sinabung. Let's shift north of there, however, where our eastern world monsoon shifts continue to bring atrocious levels of rainfall where the locals have set up cities to avoid the historically traditional paths of the deluge. When the monsoon shift, the animals know it's time to move, and throughout history one of the first large-scale signs of this Gaia shift is with the insects, and no inundation makes people cringe like the swarm of locusts. Russia is the first to see them like this this time, but as the shifts continue, they likely won't be the last. While a drought has settled into the northern central states, the convergence lines have been exploding with storms on either side of it, bringing major tornadoes, lightning, hail, and everything that comes along with those. Expect more of the same tonight as another round of incredibly dangerous storms rips through the Midwest. Folks, we've got two Deeper Look episodes posted recently that should be must-watch videos for website members of suspiciousobservers.org. We do greatly appreciate your support. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.